Leadership comes through the group in a lot of different ways. A lot of times it's experienced players, it's the older players, that's sort of the traditional way. You know, Vance Benson is one of the key guys, you know, who's, who's a really, really uh, a leader. Vance was in a situation, he uh, last year broke his leg and came back this extra year to play with these guys. You know, it's pretty neat to see a guy like Vance Benson, who's not only your mental and your emotional leader, but he's also your physical leader on the field. He's a Tasmanian devil. He's the little whirling dust cloud that goes around, you know. And, and you know, we talk in soccer in general terms about personality players. Vance Benson would be that. And to see his development from a freshman to a senior is probably one of the most refreshing things you'll do in this profession because um, he's a self-made guy. He can play, but he also brings that ferocious nature that I think other players want to latch on to. And then you got a guy like Steven, uh, who's kind of more of a, I don't want to say withdrawn, but kind of just a, more of a quiet leader. I'm going to go about my business, and I'm going to lead by example type of guy. So there's a good balance between those two. Steve, you know, is a, a classic quiet leader. You know, he's a guy that's been a rock steady performer for us for four years on the field, um, you know, and has been a very good player in pressure situations. He sort of leads by his own. And we're locked in. And they've really taken, you know, the responsibility of being a leader and being a captain very serious. And, and they do it in two different styles, where Vance is kind of more in your face and Steve is kind of more in the background. Um, but, but it's a great combination.